everyone it's Moody Boo and I am back with a haul video so this is my vacation haul video um, three of the perfumes I bought while I was on the Big Island and um, you know my L'Occitane shut down so this was mainly at Macy's yeah I know but it is what it is and I did find some perfumes that I really enjoyed in Hawaii Two of them I got at Macy's and one I did not. Now this first one is by Terra Nova and it's called Tier Lay. And this is a really inexpensive perfume. And I don't know if you can even get it online, to be really honest with you. Um, you can uh, get it at certain boutiques in Hawaii. Uh, it was like $30, no big deal. Really plain bottle, but the perfume now they had, this is one of those Hawaii houses that um, is like, oh shoot, I just lost the name. You know, those kind of inexpensive, almost drugstore type Hawaiian perfumes. You know, you'll find Tierra and uh, 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 Plumeria and things like that. Well, this one is, like I said, Tierra Lay, but this one's different. It isn't real artificial it isn't cloying like a lot of those can be um it's really really nice and it smells very um authentic to me it smells like a real lay it really does it has just a hint of you know that artificial uh floral that comes in a little more inexpensive perfumes but not a lot and I will be doing a review on it. Whether it's by itself or in a list, I can't tell you. But again, Terra Nova, Tierra Lay. One of the ones that I got at Macy's that I've kind of been lusting after for a while. I sniffed it out, oh gosh, like a year ago. Oh, longer than that. It was before COVID. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. No, I think it was. And I almost bought it, but they were out. Um, I would have bought it, but they were out at uh, the Macy's where I live. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where I went. Anyway, it's Jimmy Choo's Fever. And this one is really good. It's, I don't know if I like it as much as the original Jimmy Choo. And that's the only other Jimmy Choo uh, perfume that I've tried um, other than Fever is the original. And I went through one or two bottles maybe two bottles of that i really liked it. it 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 was kind of in the vein of flower bomb by victor and rolf which i went through several bottles of and um, this one is a little more different a little more different mm. poor choice of words but this one to me is a little more sophisticated it isn't as sweet as the original jimmy Choo either and i will be doing a review on this one my favorite that I got from Macy's really surprised me. Now, everybody loves Armani. They're quality perfumes. Whether it's their exclusive Armani's, um, you know, like the Blue Lazuli, um, and I have, uh, I have another one. Anyway, um, Armani is just amazing. Well, Armani does come out with quite a few department store perfumes, not just the exclusives. And a lot of them, I'm like, Meh. you know, they're okay. Nothing spectacular, but they're okay. This one, though, though, in love with you. Oh, shit bombs. If you like perfumes like the original Jimmy Choo and Flower Bomb, and there's another one I can't think of. You'd probably really like this. Of course, these are a lot less expensive than the Blue Lazuli and um, Amber Eccentrico, I think is one of them. I have, I can't remember. I confuse Dior and Armani all the time. Why? I don't know. It's sweet and yet not cloying. It's sophisticated. It's a little more on the feminine side, I will say. But um, I am crazy about it. I wore the hell out of it on um, my vacation. You can't really tell, but I did. I wore it. 
I feel like putting it on now, but I'm going to wait. Anyway, I know I'm looking around because I'm sitting in a parking lot. <laughs> so, because I, I, am, I am exhausted. When I get off work, I am completely exhausted. I am on my feet running that entire time, of course. You know, as a nurse, what else are you going to do? You're not going to be able to sit on your butt. So, I get home. I broke my foot, you know. And so, it's just, it, it, I'm so tired right now. Um, and especially adjusting to my new schedule that, um, I just, I'm going to record when I can. Now I do want to do, I'm going to keep doing my, my haul, but I wanted to tell you, um, I am thinking of doing, if I have time and energy, more importantly, energy, um, to do another Halloween series. I've already got some ideas and I want to do another Halloween series. They were fun to record. So if I have fun doing it, why not? <laughs> That's always a bonus in my book. So anyway, moving on. So I'm thinking about it. I'm, I don't know. It'd probably be another three part series. I should think, um, maybe only two. It just depends on, you know, what I come up with. Now, I buy perfumes off of Perfumology's website. I've bought a few perfumes from there. Had no idea that they have their own perfume brand. Well, when I ordered a perfume from them, they sent me some samples, and one or two of the samples was from their own perfume line, Perfumology. Perfumology. Oh, this one, though. I know, there I go again with a though. Oh, shit. It's so good. It's so good. And that's clutch. This is. And the prices are really good. This is a one ounce, I believe. No, this is 1.7. And it was, I'm pretty sure, under $100. And the quality is amazing. It's sweet. And it's it's almost got like a Palo Santo. That's what it reminds me of, maybe. It is uh, Palo Santo by, uh, oh my God, my cerebral flatulence has kicked in full. I can't think of shit. I can see the bottle, my square bottles. Palo Santo D600, blah, 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 blah. I can't remember the name of the damn house. You know what I'm talking about, though. I don't think I need to go further with that train of thought. Oh yes, yes please, please, please. I am wackadoo over the smell of Palo Santo though. Um, it's just an amazing aroma. This is like if Pazaswa and Palo Santo had a baby. Then pop, here it is. Oh look, it's a bouncing baby bottle. And uh, yeah, no diaper changing required with this little nugget. It's amazing. I highly recommend you get your nose on it. If you love the smell of Palo Santo, aromas like that, you may really love this one. Another one that I've been lusting after for a while. I have been meaning to buy it. I just wanted to wait until I got a really good deal on it. And when I'm in the mood, I have to be in the mood to buy specific perfumes sometimes. If I have tested them and enjoyed the my samples or decants for a while, for some reason, if I've smelled it a long time and many, many, many times and haven't purchased it, even if I love it, I don't. I move on to the next thing and I kind of forget about it. This one though, I was unable because I was sent another sample, I think by Perfumology maybe. And I went through that one again and I was like, oh, my love has been reestablished. The flame has been reignited and I bought it. And that is Amouage beach hut woman I I don't even know how to explain this one the top and I'll do a review on it the top of this is a little off-putting for me just a little bit but once that dry down happens I am seriously crazy about this perfume. It's totally right up there with Sunshine and um, Memoir. It's just, and my uh, Crimson Rocks. Uh, I don't even know if I could rank my four homages. I'm really not sure if I could because I love them all equally for different reasons. 
different facets of them just make me go so yeah I'm a wash beach hut woman had to get it and got a really good deal Shh, don't tell anybody. I told you guys with my um, my Hawaii juice box house review video that I had chosen one of those juice boxes and I I actually when I got this bottle they sent me another sample I think it was called 13 hour or 13th hour or something like that oh I may get that one too but I landed on sirens and sailors siren and sailors I love this top it's like a record for all you young folks out there these were vinyl discs that you would put on a rotating table with a needle that you lowered down onto the little uh, end of the vinyl right here and then it would rotate with this needle and you would hear music out of it just in case you guys didn't know what vinyl was <laughs> Yes, sweet. This one is another one that is a bit on the feminine side, in my opinion. This will be getting a full review. Dig the bottle. I just really dig. It is so heavy. This is like weapon heavy. This is like throw at somebody's head and it caves in kind of heavy. This is nothing to fuck with kind of heavy. So be careful. A warning label should be on the bottle somewhere. Do not throw at people when you're angry. Just saying love this stuff sweet tart little fruity mm. I'm, I'm 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 in love and i will be doing a review all right we're whittling them down um a not new to me house this one though uh here i go i added a uh at the end of the though so it wouldn't be too repetitive though uh, this may be my favorite from the house. I don't know. This is another house. I'm not sure I could rank the perfumes that I have. Because I have Koala and Camel. And now I have Chipmunk. Holy sh... Are you kidding me? This... It... It's so good. And then look at the artwork. What? Chipmunks. When I, I was raised up in the mountains, about 50 miles from the Canadian border in the state of Washington, up in these mountains, up in the chain lakes, and uh, we would feed the wildlife. <laughs> Not that you should, but we did. And we had, um, for several seasons, we had um, two squirrels and a chipmunk that we would hand feed, especially me, because I, I was crazy about them. We had two squirrels, one was named Twitchy, and that was because uh, he or she, we don't know. We didn't look up the skirt or down the pants, so we don't know if they were male or female. Um, but Twitchy was nervous. It took a long time to be able to give uh, peanuts by hand to Twitchy. Then there was Twiggy, and Twiggy was always on a, a branch, and a lot of times we had to go to the branch to feed him. He didn't like coming down onto the ground nearly as much as Twitchy. Then we had Twerp. And Twerp was the chipmunk. And that one, oh my God, Twerp. Oh, so cute. Oh my God. If you haven't seen a chipmunk face up close, you are missing out. Twerp would, I would actually put the peanut in my mouth. And Twerp would, you know, at first it took a while to condition him or her um, to doing this. But I would put a peanut in my mouth and Twerp would crawl up and take it out of my mouth and the little whiskers would tickle my face and I'd get that little chipmunk breath in my face and it was just oh it was so delightful and then he would just sit on my shoulder and eat the peanut and I couldn't reach for another peanut while he was eating it because he'd run off so I'd wait till he was done then he'd climb back down and I put another peanut in my mouth <laughs> it was a thing oh it's so good. It's nutty. It's foresty. It's gorgeous. It's unisex. I tell you, Zoologist has it going on. These are amazing perfumes. This won't be my last Zoologist either. I just tried the macaque. I think it was macaque with Yuzu. That one didn't trip my trigger like I thought it would. I really thought I'd like that one more than this one, but this one is... 
A grade. Top notch. Fabulous perfume. So, chipmunk, zoologist. The last one um, is another new to me house. And this one took forever to get here. I would have posted this uh, haul video before now or at least recorded it. But this one took a long time to get here. And this is by Isabe and it's Tender Nui. Kind of an odd bottle. I don't know if I like it, but I like the color. Yeah, lots. Oh my God. This is so... It's so good. It's sweet. It's got a hint of tart, like black currant kind of smell in there. I don't even know what the notes are. Oh my God. It's rich. It's sophisticated. Oh, heavens. It's velvety. I, that's one thing I can say is it smells velvety and soft and plush. Oh, oh my God. I shouldn't have sprayed it in here. I'm going a little nuts now. <laughs> So anyway, yes, this one is going to be definitely a review of its own. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. And uh, uh, I got it, I believe, directly from, yes, Isabi's website. So they do uh, uh, send to the U.S. Only problem is it requires a signature, just so you know. So I had to let them deliver the orange slip, you know, and then go up to the post office to get it, unfortunately. But it was worth it because this, this is potentially a new favorite. I have several new favorites now because of this last haul. So I guess we're going to call that a day for now. And I should be back to doing videos in my house soon. I know. It's like been crazy. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to get some information to you any way I can. And this is the only way I could today. <laughs> So I'd rather record a video in my car than not record anything for you guys at all. So there you go. All right. So that's it. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your patience. And um, yeah, I'm just doing the best I can. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. Happy Halloween month and use your own nose. Peace.